Brew Channel. It is February 1st, 2017. And once again, we are going to go all out with an earthquake alert. And this is definitely becoming a major global event. And today, the earth will be buffeted by solar winds exceeding 1.6 miles per hour. By the time this coronal hole passes by the earth, these solar winds will definitely increase. We're going to go ahead and get directly into this information. Right now, what you are seeing is the entire globe from the USGS, and this is a copulation of all of the earthquakes globally over the past seven days. As you can see, areas of the United States, mainly the West Coast, California, the state of Washington, moving up into Canada, and Alaska, have basically been under siege with these earthquakes, although most of them have been small. However, they are increasing in magnitude as well as frequency. One other area that is being battered by these earthquakes is the west coast of South America once again. Now, I just want to go ahead and show you real quick using the SDO Solar Dynamic Observatory. This is the large coronal hole. This is the last 48 hours of this coronal hole. We are now moving into the direct stream of the solar winds. Moving straight into spaceweather.com, it lists over here to the left, solar wind speed, 701.9 kilometers per second. And that is equivalent to 1.597 million miles per hour. Just about 1.6 million miles per hour. You can see the density of the protons, 5.7. All of the information is right here. And they don't really seem to go into much detail pertaining to the solar winds in this article. They just seem to go directly into the beautiful auroras that will be seen in the Northern Hemisphere. I'll leave a link to this information so all of you can read up on it. Moving into the live earthquake tracker, this is a different map, a different program. This does not show all of the earthquakes along the globe. However, it does give me a very, very good view of what is happening on the west coast of South America. As you can see, approximately 15 hours ago, there was a magnitude 4.7, Colombia, 4.8, Ecuador, 4.6, Peru, another 4.6 in Peru, Chile, and another one in southern Chile. But you can obviously see there is a pattern moving up in here to the state of California and also once again up into Alaska. Moving over into the Ring of Fire. Now, not all of the earthquakes are listed on this particular map. However, you can see once again that they are increasing in magnitude. And eventually, folks, there's going to be a large earthquake. Uh, very, very large. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we're looking right now at the European agencies. And as you can see, uh, this is all over the last 24 hours right here in Europe. And we'll move over to the European worldwide map. And again, these are earthquakes that are in excess of a magnitude 4.5. So once again, not all of the earthquakes are listed on this map. However, the earthquakes that are showing up, these are over a magnitude 4.5. In a 24-hour period. There's something else that's been occurring frequently. This is a three-day period. This is the Mexican Seismology Office. And as you can see, once again, this is three days. They've had a total of 110 earthquakes. Now, the majority of these earthquakes, they are in excess of a magnitude 3.5 and all the way up into the Fours. Now, the west coast of Mexico has been getting rocked for quite some time now. And once again, it is just a matter of time before a massive cataclysmic earthquake 
is going to occur. Now, this can occur anywhere within the west coast of the United States, which would be naturally California. And you can see we're just going to touch on this. These earthquakes in California, they're not that big, 2.52. Uh, there's one right over here on the border. It's only a, a magnitude 1.3. But you can see that they are swarming up and down along the San Andreas Fault. And that is very worrisome. Very. And if we move over to the USGS that had just listed all of the earthquakes over the period of the last seven days. And I'll go ahead and zoom into this a little bit for you so you can see what is happening on the west coast of the United States. And this is all along the San Andreas Fault. There is a major fault line running through there and straight down along the west coast of Mexico. So once again, folks, this is just a quick update on the earthquake activity for February 1st, 2017. If you live in any of these areas that are prone to earthquakes, once again, please make sure you have a disaster plan. Make sure your family knows exactly what to do now you can go to volcano uh, discovery volcano their earthquake and volcano website volcano discovery i'll leave a link for it you can go right over to where it says app they have a fantastic application for your cell phone you can download it and it will alert you to any and all earthquake or volcano information that is near you it works off the gps in your cell phone i use it Definitely something that would be very beneficial to you if you live in any of these areas where you are prone to volcanoes or earthquakes. Everyone, be safe, and thank you for watching the Nibiru channel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 1st, 2017, and once again, we are going to go all out with an earthquake alert. And this is definitely becoming a major global event. And today, the Earth will be buffeted by solar winds exceeding 1.6 miles per hour by the time this coronal hole passes by the Earth. These solar winds will definitely increase. We're going to go ahead and get directly into this information. Right now, what you are seeing is the entire globe from the USGS, and this is a copulation of all of the earthquakes globally over the past seven days.